but this is kind of like a really in your face powerhouse type fragrance. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Wild Thing Elixir by the House of Central Obsessions. Now, to be honest with you guys, I have not smelled Sauvage Elixir. I just looked up what this cologne is supposed to copy right now. So I have not tried it, just gonna give you a fair warning. When I first sprayed up this cologne, I don't know what it was. It just seemed very kind of in your face. And I, to be honest, on the first spray, I really didn't like it. I thought this was gonna be like, probably my second least favorite cologne that I've ever smelled. And I was like, oh my goodness, should I even do a review on it? Things like that. But then very quickly after, my opinion started to change. Uh, I think this fragrance goes a lot better with the heat, which is not a surprise because the original Sauvage went so good in the heat. But this is kind of like a really in your face powerhouse type fragrance, um, kind of like a high heat style bomb. It's got um, some fruits deep down in the background, like the original, I think Sauvage had like what bergamot in it, bergamot and uh, ambroxan. I can smell a little bit of that um, fruity vanilla like in the background, but it is very deep down there. And I think you almost need a little bit of heat to kind of bring it out. But I really did enjoy how beast mode this fragrance was. And I do like when you kind of push it to its limits and you get a little bit of that extra kind of vibe there. It almost reminded me of something like shoe polish when I first smelled it. Just very industrial, strong, like in your face, classic gentleman type fragrance. You know what I mean? It almost smells a little bit of what I remember of Platinum Ego West. I think that's how you say it this stuff seems like absolutely nuclear it is so so strong um the only real cons to it i would say maybe is that it's not like it's not likable but it's just very robust and in your face and it's something that i'd almost want to spray kind of like going out where things could breathe you know in the heat i really wouldn't want to wear this in like a classroom or a confined like car for a long time this one really needs room to breathe but like i've said it so many times we have so much wind here in southern california so sometimes you know i'll spray up a, like a dolce and gabbana's the one or something and you just can't smell anything even if you douse yourself up with that you know there's so much food in the air there's so much wind going around so it is nice to have something just really robust and really beast mode. Um, if I had to give this like a projection rating, I'd probably give it an 8.5 to a nine. It's very, very, very strong. And there's nothing about it that seems cheap, which is not a surprise because Central Obsessions does really max out their fragrances, especially when it comes to like their gold lines or their higher up lines. There's really nothing really cheap about it and you don't get that vibe about this at all here this type of fragrance would be good for work but it's just so strong and like i said there's a couple of times where i just wanted to be a little bit more playful a little bit more flirty and this kind of isn't that type of fragrance but usually a fragrance is one way or the other it's either flirty and not for work or it's for work and not for flirty and this was the batch too so apparently he just created another batch recently so this one actually really really grew on me it's very adult very mature but it's not like so mature that like nobody would like it because you have a little bit of that classic sauvage in the background to me i don't get too much ambroxan it almost smells really fruity right now which is weird because it's like it's like a robust scent first with fruitiness in the background. This stuff's nuclear, so it doesn't look like I've sprayed very much, but oh my goodness, is this stuff very, very potent. I really wish I could compare it to the Sauvage Elixir. I'm just kind of giving my impressions of how I like it as a cologne. Typically, I like to lean a little bit more towards sexy and likable, but I do really appreciate this one. I do respect it, and it's something I could definitely wear. I am definitely in a situation where I want to smell good, I want to smell fresh, I want to spell respectable, and that's what this fragrance is, a high heat summer bomb. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Wild Thing Elixir. Let me know what your favorite from Central Obsession is. Do you like Sauvage Elixir? What's your favorite flanker of Sauvage? I'll be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.